Greetings everyone and welcome to a channel update for the 23rd of July 2015. In this update I'm going to be covering a few points relating to the sparse and sometimes seemingly random upload schedule over the last two weeks. As many of you may already be aware, and have often chastised me for, I tend not to bring up personal issues on the channel, not because I don't feel connected to the community or wish to distance myself, quite the opposite actually, simply because I don't imagine many people come to a Let's Play channel to hear non-gaming news, much less bad news, and I especially don't want to cause anyone to worry as I know some of you are wont to do. But a lot of people have been asking about my infrequent uploads lately, or where this or that series is. Or simply, in some cases, they've picked up on the fact that I don't seem as animated as I usually am, despite my best efforts to be so. So I feel I owe everyone an explanation. But for those who are short on time, or simply would like the gaming news, here's the TLDR version. I've not abandoned any of my main series, from Pillars of Eternity to Reassembly, they're all still going ahead. Some have been delayed for technical reasons, but most simply because I didn't have time or couldn't find the right mood to record them. I strongly suspect that all of these issues will be resolved soon though, one way or another, so you can expect a return to my quote-unquote normal upload schedule shortly. For those who want a little bit more info though, a few days after returning from my holiday, just after a stream as it happens, I had a bit of a medical scare. I won't go into what happened beyond saying that the symptoms manifested physically and very suddenly, and they gave me quite a bit of a shock, as you might expect. Now, to put your minds at ease, I've already been to the doctor and they're sending me off to the hospital for a number of tests. It seems pointless to list the symptoms at the moment. I grew up with a hypochondriac mother and one thing I've learned from that experience is the issue with symptoms is that they can be symptomatic of such a staggeringly large range of things from the mundane to the serious that until you actually know what it is or at least have ruled out a bunch of things there's almost no point in worrying over it and there's certainly no point worrying anyone else either. Of course, just because there's no point worrying doesn't mean I won't, and I certainly did. Which is why after the slump while I was on holiday, I've been finding it really quite hard to get back on track with my uploads. Try as I might, sometimes I just didn't feel like I could have fun playing a game. And there are few things worse than watching someone trying to have fun but failing. I wouldn't want to inflict that kind of video on any of you. Additionally, as I'll be going to the hospital today, and I'm really not sure how long I'm going to be there or how I'll feel when I get home, I'm really unsure if I'll be up to streaming tonight. Rather than have to cancel on short, short notice amid uncertainty, I'd sooner just say that I won't be streaming today. If I do feel up to it, then it'll be a nice surprise when I do, but if not, then everyone will have known not to expect it, so nothing would be lost. But on a brighter point, a good part of this is that none of my series have been cancelled, despite the concerns that a few of you have voiced. I know it's been a few weeks since I last uploaded some of them, such as Pillars of Eternity or Cataclysm for that matter, but I have every intention of returning to those as soon as I can find the right headspace to be in when playing them. Something I suspect that will be much easier once I've gotten these tests done. Once there's nothing else I can do personally, I find it much easier to follow my own advice and stop worrying about things I can't change. But a specific uh, note about reassembly. Managing a tournament is a lot of work at the best of times, but to add to the problem, the game recently patched and rebalanced the cost of various components, which in turn has changed the value of many of the ships that were submitted. Quite a few of them are now over 8,000p as a result. I decided that as the ships were submitted in good faith before this change, that I'll go ahead with the tournament as planned without requesting any replacement. It does mean that some ships may be up against what will seem unfair odds, but as far as I'm aware, the functionality of the components hasn't been changed, only their base cost. So it's as fair as it would have been before the patch. I hope to get to the tournament very, very soon. 
But that's it for this update. Not a very pleasant one, I know, and again, it feels a little awkward talking about these sorts of things, but I felt that as so many of you have seemed to be worried over the irregular uploads, and in some cases my behaviour, that it would help to know what's going on with me. So, in closing, I'm not well, but I don't know what's wrong. Nor does the doctor. Could be nothing, could be something. But for those of you who are inclined to worry, please don't. I'm sure I can do enough worrying for all of us, so you don't have to join in. Just enjoy the videos that I do feel up to recording, and please be patient with me while I get back on track with things. But that's it for now, so until the next time, and as always, do take care of yourselves.